This is my list for the top five animals that should be brought back. No mammoths. No mammoths on this list. Rule number one, they must have a home. We can't just be bringing back a mammoth and be putting it in Africa. Then we have to have a home for them, somewhere for them to go. Rule number two, it must be possible for them to be brought back. I'm not gonna list any dinosaurs. I'm not gonna list any dragons. I'm not gonna list anything that cannot be brought back with science today. Animal number five is gonna be the stellar sea cow. This is an animal that was discovered in 1741 and went extinct 27 years later in 1768. We were not equated with this animal for very long and it was due to overhunting due because it became a legendary meat. It was very delicious. And so we hunted it to extinction like that. Now, being related to the manatees, these weren't fast swimmers, they weren't very agile. Their main defense was being big. That's how they defended against predators. It was reported that it could weigh up to 10 tons and be up to 30 feet long. Massive creature. This sucker went extinct quickly, but we have the full genome of this animal, so it is possible to be brought back. And it's not like their habitat went extinct either. Now, number four on the list is gonna be the Tasmanian tiger. The Tasmanian tiger is a hyper carnivore of the island of New Zealand and Australia. Now there is rumors that it's still around, there's sightings, it's a thing, big thing in cryptozoology, but the reality is that we haven't seen any. Now the Tasmanian tiger wasn't a very large animal, it was about the size of a Labrador retriever or like a general medium sized dog around 60 pounds or so. And it went extinct to the same reason as the, the stellar sea cow, over hunting. It's a very common theme in extinction. It's, it's just something we we as humans like to do. We got guns, we see an animal, we like to blast it. Now, its range and habitat is still there. New Zealand being an island that is huge in conservation and so is Australia. Now, the thylacine is number four on the list, not because it doesn't have habitat or somewhere to go back to, but because the closest relative to the thylacine is a numbat, and it's a much smaller animal. Only being around 18 inches long and just over a pound and a half on the large size it'll be very difficult to use this as a surrogate for the tasmanian tiger animal number three on the list is the great auk the northern hemisphere's penguin now the great auk went extinct due to you guessed it over hunting now this one went extinct in the 19th century kind of later in that area but it does have a close living relative the razorbill now, while the great auk was a flightless bird, the razorbill is able to fly. So, and due to the way that birds are, bringing this animal back is gonna have a lot more difficulty than a mammal due to egg laying process kind of stopping things. But it is possible, theoretically. Now, it does have habitat to go back to, and it is something that is missed in its area. It is a animal that had a niche that needs to be refilled. Number two on the list is gonna be the Japanese wolf. The Japanese wolf is something that went extinct due to overhunting. <laughs> that is the theme of this video, is animals going extinct due to overhunting. It's sad, but I feel like the animals that went extinct due to us should be the ones that be brought back due to us it's kind of like our way of saying sorry now the japanese wolf wasn't a very large wolf at all it was actually the smallest of all the wolf species and there is claims of recent sightings and there is some pretty convincing photos out there but it is not confirmed if they're not extinct now this being a wolf species it is very possible to bring these back there is very close relatives that live just off the island of japan and the japanese wolf Habitat is still very there. It's they have plenty of room to go back to and This might be one of the most possible to bring back on this list They have the full genetic code of this wolf and cloning dogs is something that we already do on the regular The science is already there and it's already been practiced to bring Your dead dog back to life celebrities are doing it Your grandma is doing it 
So the, for this wolf to be brought back is something that is very real. Now the number one on the list is gonna be the Carolina parakeet. Now the Carolina parakeet is an American parrot that went extinct, again, due to overhunting and deforestation actually. So I made a whole video on the Carolina parakeet. So if you wanna learn more about that, just click the icon. But the Carolina parakeet should be brought back because Ameri we have learned the lesson of deforestation. The United States is more forested in the areas of this parrot's habitat than it was when it went extinct. If we actually did a reversal. Now I know the difficulties of bringing back bird species versus mammals, but we have so much genetic diversity in the Carolina parakeet through the hundreds of specimens that we have that this species, if we are able to figure out the cloning or the hybridization process, has a huge chance of being brought back. Like, ha has a huge chance of success when being brought back. Like, the sun conure is its closest living relative, and it's a very close relative. It's actually, it actually bumped up against its habitat. And its habitat is back. It, like it needs, this bird needs to come back for its range. It actually has the best chance out of all the other animals on this list. And with America having great policies on endangered animals and like our success rate of bringing endangered animals back, counter to what the headlines say, but the pronghorn, the bison, the eagle are huge success stories. Things that almost went extinct but we changed our mind and brought them back from the brink of extinction. And I have one bonus. The Pyrenees Ibex. Now this one has already been attempted and is the first animal to be de-extinct. Now while the baby Ibex wasn't successful in surviving for very long due to complications it's already been done and they're going to do it again so keep this on your radar because this might be the first animal ever to be successfully brought back from extinction it's a really cool uh, animal it's a goat native to spain and it has a bunch of different subspecies and this is actually a subspecies of the Iberian Ibex. So, it has a very, very, very close living relative. Actually, these subspecies can breed together, so this is hugely possible. And there's already a research team and funding behind bringing it back. So, keep this on your radar. But that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think, and let me, th let me know if there's an animal that you'd like to see brought back in the comments below. And uh, have a good one.